Hey guys, it's Frank from uh, Camping Life and Adventures Outdoors with Frank Zink. Um, I just wanted to go over some camping tools and, and things that we deem fairly important or maybe unique. Um, but I just think it's also an interesting conversation. Um, and, and I'd like to know what you bring camping that maybe you deem really important. Um, so not in any particular order, just going to go down through this and uh, go through this list. So one of the things that we have here, it's just an old squeegee from Dollar Store. So squeegee. So what do we use this for? We use a plastic uh, tablecloth on our picnic table and when it rains, Obviously the picnic table gets wet. Uh, part of it is usually sticking out underneath the awning, but we use the squeegee to squeegee off the plastic tablecloth on the picnic table. And I don't know, I just find it kind of kind of a cool little tool that doesn't take up a paper towel or use any paper towel. And for the sake of two bucks, there you go. Another thing at the dollar store that I don't have with me here right now, but you can buy is a little fire fan. A little fan, it's just a piece of plastic that you wave up and down and uh, you know, you can use any piece of plastic, but they actually have them at the dollar store for your fire pit. So some couple of uh, cool items if you're camping available at, at, at the dollar store. One of the things that I really like is, although super dangerous, is a torch. So when it comes to lighting coils, um, starting a fire, it's the cheap man's version. But I'm cheating, right? And people will say, ah, oh, you're just cheating by using this. Well, maybe so, but um, you know what? This makes life a lot easier when it's windy as heck out and I'm trying to light barbecue coals uh, for my Dutch oven or something like that. So for me, this is a great find. Uh, the torch piece is $11 or it's $24 at Walmart, I think. Um, but it's perfect. The other thing is a really decent splitting ax. How many times have you gone to a campground and heard people trying to split logs with a hatchet? It's crazy. I just don't understand it. You can't split logs with a hatchet. It's one, it's too dangerous and it's just inefficient. And for the sake of having a decent splitting ax, um, you know, it just makes life a lot easier. I'll show you mine. So. It's a full-fledged splitting axe, so designed uh, for splitting wood. So for me, and I just sharpened it, it is razor sharp right now, um, this axe is a must-have. I, I just, it's, it's just a valuable tool um, to be using in the, in the camper. You gotta have it. One of our best finds to date is our sport umbrella. We love our sport umbrella. It is, I mean, it is, saves us so much. We use it during, you know, when it's too hot out as a shade. Um, we use it behind our backs when we're sitting at the fire pit um, to, to block the wind. And because it's silver on the inside, it reflects the heat back into you. On the shoulder months, it's really, really a lifesaver. It makes life, uh, you know, takes the chill right off you and gets you out of the wind. Sport umbrella, best investment. We got it at Canadian Tire. They run somewhere around $80, $90. Uh, believe me, it sounds like a lot of money, but it was worth every penny of it. We've had ours several years right now. Works perfect. Even the dog loves the sport umbrella, don't you, buddy? He loves the sport umbrella. Yes, he does. He loves the sport umbrella and he loves to camp. So, yeah. <laughs> the next big thing is, is a big tarp. Um, you know, I, I get it. Some people, when it's raining, they cancel their camping plans or, or they pack up and go home. Uh, we don't, we love camping in the rain and we couldn't do that if it wasn't for a great big tarp. And having the tarp, it can rain, we can still sit in underneath the fire, keep the wood dry. We watch movies, which is another point, by the way. We watch movies on a little table when we're at the fire pit um, some nights. 
so everything stays dry out of the rain um, having an oversized tarp is great this one here that you're you're looking at is uh, 28 by 12 I believe it's a really 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 decent sized tarp we also have a smaller tarp that summers around I think it's 16 by 10 that we use when it's just us or we're just you know it's a light drizzle we just want to get out so we have two tarps that we bring um, every single time I couldn't camp without a tarp it, it'll save you in the rain so another thing that we have that uh, we really like is uh, well we bought these from the dollar store they come in green and black and I don't know other colors I think they're designed for gardening um, we call them picnic table uh, cushions but that's what we use them for is for the picnic table or sometimes I have to be in the dirt and I'm kneeling down um, I we use these as well for that um, these are great even this chair that I'm on right now uh, I like to use it it just makes it a little little firmer and um, we find that a great find I couldn't live without my Dutch oven my Dutch oven is just makes life so much better when you're cooking for a large group of people and you don't want to do a lot of work and you just want to throw everything in one pot and cook it slowly over a fire or over some barbecue briquettes this is this is a must-have um, I've got lots of videos and recipes online uh, on my YouTube channel here on how, you know what meals to cook in the Dutch oven it, it's endless um, we really love the meals in the Dutch oven it's the way to go um, I think that it, it it's it's worth mentioning because a lot of people don't use it so go out get a Dutch oven follow some of my recipes you will love it uh, so these are some tips of unique things that we use while camping um, that maybe you have or haven't thought of if we haven't mentioned something here I hope you mention it down below leave a comment let me know what some of the unique things not just like Coleman stoves and coolers everyone has that however a six day cooler is better than a ten dollar cooler I'm not gonna spend four hundred dollars for a Yeti cooler um, but I am gonna spend eighty to hundred dollars for a five or six day cooler made by igloo or some someone like that it it's worth the money to have a cooler that you know your ice doesn't melt in a few hours so make the investment if you're boondocking like us where you don't have electricity um, and you know you only run the generator for an hour or two um, you know a cooler is in invaluable so get a decent cooler one of the unique things that we do while camping is watching movies at the fire this is just so enjoyable and uh, we have a little wooden table that we put the um, laptop on or the iPad uh, before we leave home we download movies on Netflix or Crave or Amazon and we have them downloaded and then while we're at the fire we have um, a splitter and then two headphones so that we're not bothering other campers we can listen to the volume as loud as we personally want it and it just it just makes it so much fun and you know we don't necessarily do it every night but it is a lot of fun to have movie night while camping quite often I'll do popcorn in the Dutch oven doesn't get any better than that and one of the things that Joanne really likes is she's bought some battery operated fans um, that we put in the cooler and we carry some of those battery packs and these little fans are USB um, capable so we will plug them in and run them off of these battery packs um, it, it sure saves us uh, we don't generally we don't run the air conditioner and we're not at powered sites so it's nice to have that secondly we can also use it to charge phones the battery packs are available when we go across Newfoundland on our ATV um, when we're doing different things when I'm hunting when I'm fishing so they have a lot of uses um, but we use them to power the the, the fans while we're here so um, you know the dog gets a little reprieve from the heat he's lying at my feet right now in this sweltering heat um, but you know it's another little thing that that uh, we really enjoy we have uh, like four of them in the in the camper at night when we're when we're sleeping just to cool things down and get the air moving well I hope you enjoyed this list of some different things that 
we do or have when we're camping. Uh, I know we have a lot more to show and go through, but this maybe starts the conversation. So uh, if you have any ideas or any trip tips or trip tri tips or trips tri tips or tricks <laughs> that you do when camping that are unique, comment below. Would love to know. Love to see it. Take a picture. Post it. Uh, send me an email. Go to my Facebook page. Anything at all. We would love to see it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the details below in the description. There's lots of information in there. And please leave me a comment. Leave me your thoughts. Love to hear from you guys. I always try to reply to everybody's comments. As well, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get the notifications when a new video has been uploaded. As well, if you like this video, you'll find more just like it right here. And don't forget to head over to my website by clicking right there. Thanks for watching.